All right, so what I've got here, I've actually, this is some uh, Burkholm from the Beehives. Basically, it's wax. It's uh, melted down. It's bits and pieces of dead bees and stuff that was on the Burkholm or maybe it even had larvae in it. But anyways, I keep it in a uh, mason jar. I use this after it's melted down to then take and get my... frames ready on my beehives now this right here is actually pretty messy because it does have basically bits and pieces of dead bees and all kinds of stuff in it i don't worry about filtering it i don't filter it at all i basically take a paint roller and i take this is actually out of a wary hive so this is a top bar and these already had, was on a hive, but they basically chewed all the wax off of it and then left it and didn't build anything out on it. So I got a whole bunch of these frames I'm gonna do. I put just a little bit of wax on the roller and it doesn't take much. And then I just roll it on this bar right here. Just put a little bit of wax on there. It gets the bee scent on it. All the stuff the bees like to like to have. This uh, wax isn't really hot enough to be doing this. I try to keep it right on the very edge so I don't want to go up too high on it. That's what I do. And to show you the other ones are here. And this is basically just enough wax to do this one top box so I don't I don't spend a whole lot of time like trying to buy or source wax when I've got it in Burkholm and all I need to do is put it on here and like I said it doesn't take much at all just something to help the bees get started and I'm putting this box on this hive tomorrow. So I need this kind of like right away. It is March 1st of 2020. It's 60 degrees out today. And the bees are bringing in pollen like crazy. Now you might be wondering what kind of pollen are they finding in March. And the answer to that is in Kentucky, it's almost always maple. Now this dries really, really fast, so. You can see it's just a really, really thin coating. Probably ain't gonna show up on the camera. But anyways, I use this little small pot when I just have small stuff to do and I just basically make it work. Right, that's what we do in beekeeping. We just make it work. No sense of me going out and bring it, you know. No sense of me going and getting out more equipment than what I need right now. And if there's any any bits and pieces of other bees on there or They'll, they'll clean it right up. And I always end up getting some on my fingers. And 
and I'm done. Never leave wax sitting on a stove, by the way. Wax is extremely flammable, and I forgot to go over that. I had this literally on the lowest setting possible. Low. Not even on anything, just like the literally lowest it would go. So, uh, spilled a little bit on there. There we go, again. That is just burr comb that's got bits and parts of bees in it. But it has a bee smell, and I think that it's way better than, like, store-bought wax beeswax if you can get burr comb or something like that from another beekeeper it works way better so hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads just had to add another box to the bottom of the wary hive i had put wax on it yesterday evening and brought it out today Got the, it situated. These bees are doing fine. They're bringing in pollen already. It's March 2nd. This is the second day in a row of 60 degree weather. And uh, let me do a slow motion video. These bees are probably a little confused because when they left their house was one way on the inside and now they're coming back and it's a different way but it'll take them a few minutes they'll realize what's going on. So uh, I've seen several of them come in with pollen like they go in the opening then they come back out and they almost start to fly away but then they turn around and go back in and that's what it is they're confused because the inside of their house has changed but uh, this box that I put in doesn't have drawn out comb on it yet so the bottom box doesn't have drawn out comb the middle box is clear full of comb and the top box still has um, sugar syrup in it so that'll get them off to a good start this year and uh, wary hives build up a little slower than Langstroth hives or at least in my experience that's the way it is 
and even though this was an early swarm capture of last year they had only drawn comb out in one of the boxes so hopefully the second box gives them some room and uh, they have a really good hunting production year and we'll just have to wait and see anyways thanks for watching god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads